What's up, guys? Let's see if I can fix this real quick. No, why I did that. Let's see. Give me just a second. Okay, let's get it popping. <laughs> it's so dark in here. I don't know why. Light's still good. Mm, I don't know why it's so dark, guys. I got the lighting on. Like it's foggy. Oh, gotta get my hat. <clears throat> let's, let's, let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. Happy birthday, zombie. I'm not sure why it's so dark. I'll fix it next time. <sighs> I'll fix it next time, guys. The camera lens? Could be the camera lens, because it's not the lighting. Let me see. Let's see. If not, we're going to work without it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Probably the way I got the lights positioned too. That's a little bit better. Y'all got a glare. We're just gonna deal with it. I don't wanna hold up the show on lights. So let's get it popping. It's the exposure of the camera is giving you and I believe it's because of your white shirt. We can see you missed a spot. Did I? Oh well. We'll just deal with it. 
Okay, let's go back up top. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hey, Davida, Davetta. Hey, D. Johnson. Hey, bring the hey, bring the green team. Hey, Edwin's zombie's birthday. Zombie turned forty-five. Happy birthday. Hey, Reed Shield Clutch, R. B. Rich, D. Rupt, Robert. Bama, Chris, Bill Oak, Hey Watt, Roger, Beats, J Strict, A Team, Maurice, Blue Angel, Let's go Antonio, Reggie, Megan, Stefan. Let's take a look around. This Blue Angel telling me to check the lens. Thank you. All the NBC shows start back tomorrow. Med and Fire and PD. I'm waiting for that one uh, show to start up. It should have be, be getting ready to start too. When um, his father was a... Uh, I guess his father was a serial killer and now he got to help the FBI. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Paris, Willie, Donald. Hey, Wildcat. What's up, Steve? First time in here. Hey, Wildcat. Lids giving shadow also. Hey, Octavia. Okay. Let's see. Yes, yeah, usually, I don't know, real, real dark, but it is what it is. So, <clears throat> they're working on Android 10. I believe it was Android 10. And it's not going to, Google's not going to have the um, the pie names anymore. You know, like the dessert names. Like uh, Android 5 was, uh, I think it was Kit Kat. Android 6 was. Well, Android 5, no, Android 4 was Kit Kat, Android 5, Lollipop, Android uh, 6 was Marshmallow, 7. You know, they're not going to have those dessert names anymore. So they're going to go with the regular standard. I think it's Android 10. And we might be able to see that. They're saying maybe in 2019. So I'm guessing probably around November. Maybe even December, they push Android 10, and it's going to be for Android TV. They said they're pushing it for Android TV around November, December. But if we don't get it in 2019, it'll be right in the beginning of the year in 2020. And I'm thinking maybe the NVIDIA Shield will get that update. <laughs> they might just get that update too, because they're going to really want to stay current. I'm not going to even say they might. NVIDIA Shield will get the Android 10 update. They're going to get it. Because since they're pushing a new device, they're going to want the newest Android version. And they're also going to update our devices. So that's good to know. We're definitely going to get Android 10. It's called Prodigio. I know I murdered that. Prodigio Son. Yeah, I'm waiting for that, Alan. So, Google dropped the dessert names. I thought it was unique, but it's nothing serious about, you know, I guess it's nothing too big about them dropping it. Steven, returndates.com has all the info when TV shows come back. Thanks, Don. Oh, that starts tonight? Oh, that's good to hear. New York on the check-in. What up, Stephen? How you been? I've been good, man. I went. Um, I just got in. I was late. Me and my daughter went to... Uh, it's like a little ice cream ice cream chocolate. Reminds you of like the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. It has ice cream, all different types of chocolate. So we went there and had some shakes.
all aired last night. I hope we get a better UI. Um, I don't think they're gonna switch the UI too much, since it's um since it's coming out so fast to Android TV. The thing is, um, that Android TV, Google does the Android TV UI. They do the OS, so they just do a stock OS. Then what happens is Nvidia pretty much works around that OS that they have. A lot of devices don't do that. You know, you might get like an Android, say the Android 9, it just can't release. Say if the Mi Box got Android 9, or like when the Mi Box got Android 8, they just gave you what exactly what Google did, the stock Android 8. NVIDIA pretty much kind of made it simpler by adding certain little stuff, like the way that you change the launcher, um, the task killer, all that stuff is not from actual the Google Android TV OS. It's stuff that NVIDIA did on their own. What's a good one, Steve, from Adrian? It's so, I mean, right now, I know you guys heard the news. So since that had went down... It's a lot of people pretty much trying to switch over to something else right now. I mean, some that don't have to, but it's a bunch of people that switching over to other stuff. That pretty much supported the base of everything. Then TiVo is making another Android TV. Well, they're making a dongle. They're making either a dongle or an Android TV. It's supposed to be about $50. I don't, I don't know if we... We might get it. I might get us that to check out. And uh, I already told you guys about the Google dongle. Stephen, have you noticed that some of the add-ons for Real the Bread and the blue links don't seem to be working very well? How have you been running into the same uh, problem? It depends. It depends, Rich. Then it depends, too, on like a lot of the older stuff. Sometimes I have to download, but it just depends. Just because you have Real the Bread doesn't mean that all the sources will work. Nighthawk XS X6S. Which Netgear Nighthawk right, right, router is the best for Wi-Fi? I think the most current one is the best. <clears throat> I think the X10, but like, if you want to save some money, the X6 is doing me great. How's the A95X 64 gigabyte 9.0? I'm getting that probably by next week. I haven't tested it yet, but I got it. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Let me double check. Because I actually was trying to get them. I was trying to get them to send us a couple of them so I can give some away. Because they reached out to me to do a video. And I told them. Well, where where was it at? Yeah, because I told them to send us a couple. Is that it? Is 
is that it? The X95. They sent in an X95 Max. So I'm trying to get a few of them so we can give them away. That's another thing, guys. For you guys that's creators. Once these guys contact you, I can see if you're just starting off. If you're just starting off and um, you you pretty much need to do it, do it. But they won't really even contact you if you're just starting off. But say you have like 5,000 uh, subs or something like that. And a company contacts you to do a review of their device. You might even want to, you know, you, you want it, you've been looking at the device. If they're contacting you to do a review of your device, ask them for a couple more, you know, to give away on your channel or, you know, charge them a little something, you know, something like that. Because what it is, is that these devices, what you're doing is you're, you're advertising. You're advertising their product. And even though your 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 uh, crowd wants to see it, since you're advertising their product, you should get something. You know, at least get something to give away to your people. Give tell them, hey, give me fifty dollars or something like that. That's nothing, you know. But get something instead of doing it for actually free. You know, that's why I paid. I paid for a lot of my stuff when I first started. I paid for, and I still pay for stuff. If a company contacts me now, is there a huge company like say um, Google or something like that, and it's just something you really want that you couldn't buy yourself? Okay, do it. But if it's something you can buy yourself and it's gonna profit them, definitely get something out the deal. So I'm waiting for them to like agree to send us a couple more boxes, so at least we can give it away. Excessus has Mimu has Mimu and Excess does not. Having that feature it's important. The Excess X6 S. I just got the regular X6. So Gail said the X6S has Mimu and the X66 does not. Having that feature is important. So I don't know, we'll check that out. What's up, King King Dose? What's up, my boy? What's up, Silky? So after the 8.0 update, my NVIDIA shield is lagging. Lagging how? Lagging as far as your speeds or you watching stuff? So I'm waiting. We should be getting ready to get a lot of devices because right now it's like the holiday season. Comes October. October, November. That's when a lot of companies want us to see their content. Well, see their devices, see their product. Hey, Steve, my remote for my shield keeps disconnecting. Did you check the battery out, Anthony? Is that 2017 remote? It could be the batteries. I still had the, well, no, I don't have the 2015 version no more. But that 2015 remote for the Shield was way better than 2017. That's probably why they made the new remote and controller. I never heard of it either, Mr. Urban World. Gail just mentioned it. She spelled it M-I-M-U. Now I heard of Mimu. Mimu is a um, Android emulator for PC for Windows. What's going on with Cody No Limits not working that good these days? I haven't actually checked it out. But I know they're still, they actually are back. They've been back. They've just been kind of quiet. And their channel name is... The channel, the channel name is No Issue, Cody No Limits.
My whole shield is freeze and then cutting off most nights. Did you try to factory set it, Kevin? Hey, Steve, what's up? Since the update, it's been a lot of Wi-Fi connect issues. Have you been experiencing anything like such? Actually, no. With the 8.0 update, I had Wi-Fi issues on one of my shields. Um, I told you guys about that. But once I updated to that 9, that uh, Android Pi, it fixed everything with that shield. It's perfect now. But... I've been hearing the opposite for, from a lot of people. See, when you're going through a whole different Android version, you have a different amount of uh, people, different amount of issues. But I will try to factory reset. And I'm actually waiting. They should be able be be getting ready to release another update i wonder what's taking so long they released a couple hot fixes nvidia did i didn't do any of the hot fixes i didn't even like the sound of hot fix you know i, I heard a beta and stuff like that but when they said hot fix i was like nah i'll wait so i'm just waiting till they actually drop an official update or release a beta of the update And I just watched, uh, I'll never say Power, uh, Snowfall is better than Power again. Because that last episode of Power was real good. I just watched that too recently. Speaking of updates, I have, I've had to use my factory warranty twice for the new Shield controller. The last two updates caused ghost movements on the right stick. Did unpairing and forgot device factory reset from Ashton. I had the same problem with one of my uh, NVIDIA controllers, Ashton. I think these 2017 accessories, like when they when they re-released the NVIDIA Shield TV, and this is why I tell you guys, sometimes newer doesn't unnecessary, doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. And people love that NVIDIA controller. People's like, man, it looks nice. Because it it's actually looked like a nice, um, it actually looked like a game controller. Give me one second. I need Trooper up in here. fix something real quick but when they came out with that 2017 version the uh accessories weren't as good as 2015 they looked better but as far as quality wise they were not better you know my 2015 controller even though it looks better i mean the 2017 looks better it's definitely not as good as 2015 i was having the ghost movements too where I had to unpair it and repair it. Um, the controller, I don't even mess with the controller that much. What is this thing? Your device is missing important updates. It reads your devices instead of, instead of one at a time. It reads your devices all at once instead of one at a time.
Power All The Way, Snowball, Snowfall Lost Me on the last episode. That last episode was confusing. I didn't understand it. I guess they were trying to... I, I don't know. I just... I got to watch it again. I got to watch that last episode of Snowfall. Ooh, we got a huge moth. So if I turn off the camera to get the moth that came through the window, you guys know. But Snowfall, your camera seems higher. Let me see. Snowfall... Snowfall, it was a good season, but that last episode I didn't like. It was kind of a waste of an episode to me. There go that moth. Let me get this moth, guys, so it's going to irritate me. My soul. And I can't catch it. Can't catch it. I need to get Trooper up in here. But I wonder now with power, since they killed the guy off, since they killed the lawyer off, it's like, I'm look, I'm like, he always helped them like the most. Like I'm wondering who's gonna help him. That's why you know the end is coming for power too. To kill somebody off so big. Bass spray the front. The spray's not working, Bass. Because what happens is since I have this window, you got so many trees and stuff right here. Once I hit these lights on. It doesn't matter how shut it is, they will find a way through this window. The last episode was meant as no matter what path he took, he was always going to end up selling from M Street. That's what it meant, M. I didn't like it. <laughs> I just didn't like the last episode. They got the witness, too. Power was like one of the, I don't know that 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 last episode of Power, they really bounced back. I just didn't want to see Proctor go so fast, but I guess it's coming to an end. Oh, I'm sorry, Ashton. <laughs> Keisha's gonna get it next. Yeah. What's up, James? Yeah, you no know, women and uh, Tommy, you know, he has the effect. I'm wondering, too, if they'll do something like to his son. I don't know. But Proctor was so huge to that TV show, it was kind of surprising that it happened. But I knew something had to happen, even in the beginning of the series, because, you know, the lawyer always kept that laptop. He always had the information he copied, so I knew it was it was something that's gonna was gonna have to happen that made him turn into an informant. His daughter got the lab. Yeah, his daughter got the information. He said they should have let the Italians keep Tariq. I think the reason why they had the Italians get Tariq, they had to think of a way to uh, make Ghost and Tommy combine. Because I went to his Instagram. There's going to be a season six. Well, there's I don't know if we're in the season six. But there's going to be one more season after this. So that might be the season where... 
uh, either Ghost or Tommy dies. But this season, I think it's going to be more about Tariq. We got people who haven't seen it. I'm sorry for the spoilers. Yeah, I won't I won't I won't talk about it no more. Hey Octavia. I'll stop. I'll stop talking about it now. Cause we have people who haven't seen it yet. But um I'm ready for the new shows to come out. So the new shows that I really need to get. Let me see. Let me go to IMDB. I told you guys I want to start watching that. Pro I can't even say it. The Sun. I don't see no coming soon. I'm waiting for that. Uh, if you guys didn't check it out yet, The Boys was pretty good, too. I like that TV series. I just recently finished that. I'm really waiting for the second one. I wanted to start The Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal, I used to watch that when I was younger. Stranger Things, I need to finish. 13 Reasons Why, I need to finish. That's it so far. What's some more stuff that I need to finish? But nothing new. The movies I'm looking forward to. I, I gotta still see It Chapter 2. It's three hours long, though. That's the only problem about it. But I might just go to the movies and see that instead of waiting for it. Or I might wait, too, only because if some people said that they didn't like it. Uh, Joker. I I'm having mixed thoughts about Joker because it does not have the original storyline. They kind of made their own storyline to them. So I don't know if I really want to go see that for sure. I might wait till that releases. I just finished Spider-Man. I just finished Anna. Anna's one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Anna was a great movie. Oh, got it now. Mr. Moth is dead. And it was like one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. Is Vortex good on the Nvidia Shield TV? Stranger Things is over with. I don't know. I, I, I gotta watch that third season. Hey, Shrink and Sharon. So, Steve, do you think... We're just going to call it uh, PTV. We're going to call it PTV, guys. Say, Steve, do you think these PTV is coming back at full force from Thomas? Um, yeah. See, the thing that happened was when the uh, X codes got took down, which they shouldn't have got took down because it actually is nothing. When you think of X codes, it's like mainly, it's like thinking of 
It's like thinking of Lodi and the add-ons. Lodi being the platform and then the add-ons doing what they want to with that platform. You can kind of think of Xcode as the same thing. It's like a base or something to, to, to organize stuff. So you can, don't actually have to be doing that. You can use it for other things as well. So it's just mainly that base, a way to keep things, you know. The uh, problem was that you had all these services just using this base. They're using it. And once it got took away, no one had, well, you did have some people, but the majority of people just didn't have anything else set on the side uh, to use to take off, you know, after that was gone. So once they actually find something else, which more than likely they will, um, it's going to be back on for a lot of people. And I just you know it's going to continue to happen. That's what it, it's like the, uh, when the music industry started doing the, all this stuff, you know, it's going to be the same way, but it's just like the goose is loose now. So there, it's always going to be something. Hey, Daryl. Hey, Steve, they're remaking Stephen King, The Stand. They're remaking St Stephen King The Stand? Really? Man, The Stand is one of the best. Uh, it was actually considered a mini TV series. The Stand had three. It had four. I think it had four. Four episodes. It was. It's actually not even considered a movie. It's like It. Because you guys know It was considered a, a mini TV series. They just had two parts. The first It. I think the stand is just like that. It's considered a, a movie se series, but it had four parts. It had three or four parts. But the stand is, man, the, the stand is a great movie. They can really do it. I hope they do it right. If they do it right, it could be a really great movie. If they do it wrong, it could be like something that you wish that they, they never did. But something with that, the stand, they, they, they need to go all out. You know, they need to go all out with something like that. Yeah, Brad, but Brad, you really don't go with what was being said. Because I'm hearing different um, things about what was being said. It just doesn't make sense that they were doing that. I don't think they were actually doing that. What's up, Nicholas? So that's... It just don't make sense, Brad. If they could sit back without doing it and collect, why would they actually do something else? But it could have happened. You know, I don't know. You know, I don't know how it all works or anything like that. But I know if I could just collect with basically just doing software, why would I risk doing anything else? You know? I saw a promo for The Stand. Whoopi Goldberg is in it, so Sabrina. Yeah, Shrink and Sharon just said that. But that, that'll be great. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. As far as Stephen King, that's one of my favorite Stephen King movies, The Stand. A film coming out to follow up on The Breaking Bad. I don't know how they're going to do it, though. When I think of Breaking Bad, I just think of Walter. I think of Walter White. Breaking Bad was just one of those TV series that it just, you know how like they tell you once you start doing something, you just, once you, once you step foot on something, you just, you change, you know, your soul kind of change and you, you could try to, you can look at Walter White and he's just this teacher and each episode when he started doing different stuff. You could just see that change in them. I, I don't know if I could just watch it without Walter. The, yeah, the remake of Child's Play was a horrible movie. I mean, the remake of Child's Play, the movie itself wasn't actually bad. The Child's Play movie. But them calling it a remake was just stupid to me. They should have just made a brand new movie. 
and kind of changed his name, you know. But for calling it child's play, I just think that was just bad. That was kind of, you know, it was kind of, uh, it was kind of grimy because you made people think it was something that it was has nothing actually to do with. So the reason why they did the child's play like that is because it's like the Disney Sony thing that's going up on right now. They had people, two different groups of people that own so much and they split. So the people who did the child's play movie couldn't actually use all that info, all that, um, you know, all that stuff, you know, all, all the stuff from the original child's play. So they thought of this bright idea for changing it, but they shouldn't even just, they should have just made something different. But I, I'm hearing right now that it will be a child's play series that's coming out. And the people that's doing the child's play series actually have the right to bring it back. So that'd be, I think that'd be dope because you'll have, you know, you got, when you think of child's play, you think of Chucky, you think of Charles Lee Ray. You know, you think of him, you know, you think of all this stuff he does and everything. That's the main thing you think of with him. He trapped in a, in a doll. And he need to get back human. That's the whole thing of child's play. So hopefully they, I know they will, that they, they're going to bring back the regular thing, but I'm hoping they actually take it a step further because you could actually make a whole movie or at least, um, not a movie, but a few episodes or tell a little bit about who's Charles Lee Ray. You know, how he how he learned all this stuff and stuff like that. So they could do a lot with it if they do it right. What is the difference between Google Play TV games that's coming out for four ninety nine and Stadia? Um The difference is the Google Play TV games, Google Play they actually, I mean, it's just, how do I explain that? It's because what it is, is the Google Play TV games. A lot of them are mobile games and stuff like that. So it's just another way to buy some other games. You know, it's kind of similar. Well, it's not similar. But it's just like another place to buy games at. But they won't have all the games that Stadia is having. Stadia is more of a, it's more like a console, console looking thing where you can actually take your controller and play anything. Google Play games are just pretty much games that's made for mobile devices. And they actually making a Play Pass. A Play Pass, I forgot how much they said it's going to cost. But the Play Pass is going to charge you monthly. And you can get to download so many different uh, apps, you know, that cost money by uh, actually just paying monthly. It's kind of, I don't know how they're going to do it. I don't know how they're going to get away with that. Unless they're going to change to something like iOS where they kind of make those developers say, hey, you got to put some type of ticket to your app. So they might do that, you know, push to charging for more stuff. And then they make this Google Play Pass, and this, you know, instead of you paying a dollar, two dollars each app, you could pay five dollars a map, uh, five dollars a month, and get so many apps for free. Google Stadia is going to have some games, the same games PlayStation Four will have. You can play the games at four K. Yeah, Google Stadia is going to have 4K. It's going to have a mixture of everything. I think Stadia is too. I think Google's kind of learned from Netflix. Meaning that they're going to try to get their own content on there as well. Updated my iPad today. Apple has now an arcade sus subscription on it. I'm going to have to play with my daughters to see what that is. I hope they don't I hope they do a good job. I think the stand they are actually try to do a better job with. But they're you know, it's so many 
I, I'm hoping that they do. I like remakes. I like them. The only thing I don't like about remakes is if they don't do it good. You know, just do them good at least. But the writers, Hollywood is not as creative no more. Uh, the writers not, the writer is not on the level that it was to me back in the day. So that's why you're seeing a lot of remakes and stuff like that. But the thing about the remakes is they get you excited about the movie because of what it is. Then when you actually watch that movie, you'd be like, what happened? What What's going on? You know, you just don't. It was the remakes be like just a way to collect your money. Uh, it'd be like a money grab. Hey, we're going to remake this. Everybody go see it because of how good it was. And then when they actually see it, they'd be like, <sighs> but it's a lot of make remakes coming out. Let's see. A new Boys in the Hood would be dope. They're actually doing a new New Jack City. They're working on that. I only like Child's Play 1 and 2. Yeah, Child's... It got kind of old as far as winning. You know, that's just like everything when it started making more and more and more. But, I don't know. It was just... It was just entertaining to see Chucky. But... Mark Hammond sounded ridiculous. It was just so Nick New Jack City secret. Yeah, it's coming out. They got Breaking Bad follow up from Jesse after it's called El Camino. I don't know, man. Breaking Bad just don't seem seem like I don't know if I could do Breaking Bad without without Jesse. I mean, I mean, without uh, Walter, without Walter, I'm I'm trying to think of Sons of Anarchy too, because you guys know they actually did the spinoff of Sons of Anarchy and called it the uh, the Mayans. I'm kind of I'm, I'm trying to picture in my mind right now, cause Sons cause Sons of Anarchy act, actually re released back out with one of them instead of Jax, and it, it'll be hard. With these movies instead of movies too, I don't know why they why they never redo TV shows. What's up, Victor? A new Mortal Kombat is coming. They've been talking about Mortal Kombat movie for about years now. I've seen a preview of it. I like the original Pet Cemetery better. Yeah, the original Pet Cemetery was better, Sh Shrinking Sharon, Sharon, but at least they kind of. The remake wasn't terrible. You know, they kind of kept it similar to what happened, at least. Mayans is pretty good. Yeah, Mayans is okay. Any new NVIDIA news? Not really. NVIDIA's been low on the radar. But like I told you guys, they're talking about the Android 10 before the end of 2019. So we're definitely going to get that update. That might be the reason why we're not hearing too much about NVIDIA. Because NVIDIA is probably like, why should we, um, why should we actually um, continue updating Android 9 when we're going to go to Android 10? So they could be a reason why we're not hearing too much. I know they dropped their hot fixes, but they might probably do one more update to it, Android 9, and get ready to switch to Android 10. Because they're definitely going to want the newest version of Android. They're going to have to push the newest, newest version of Android TV with a new device.
I was going to say something too. I forgot. What was going to say to you guys? Oh, the only, also, one of the other bad things that was with the Android 10 to uh, Google changed it as well. Because, you know, to get that Android 10, the reason why it's not as popular is because if you want official Google Android TV, meaning that you're licensed by Google to actually have an Android TV device, it used to be that you had to agree to do at least uh, uh, three updates, three version updates. Well, three updates, well, perform three updates to that device or something like that. Now they changed it to two updates, mainly probably to get more companies interested in Android TV. They probably did that because you got people that rather just not be uh, completely locked down on a device you know if it's not doing so well they rather just move on and just leave that device dry what's godfather in harlem rest in peace john singleton yeah I was thinking about John Singleton. Uh, I was reading the credits. They still got on the credits of Snowfall. There's a lot of Stephen King movies that can be made. He said they're doing a remake of Saved by the Bell. They should. They need to remake some of these older TV shows. You know, that could be a reason why people are just going out their mind too. Just look at some of the TV shows that out. You don't really have, you know, you used to have those good family-based TV shows. You know, you had a a bunch of family-based TV shows where the family was together. You had, I can't even think. You had all in the, you know, you know, you had uh, Family Matters, All in the Family. You had a bunch of just like. These family-oriented uh, TV shows that came out, and we loved them. You don't see that no more. You know, you see all this reality stuff, this reality TV, and it's so fake, and people think it's real. You know, just to act crazy. You know, you, you just need that. They need to bring some shows like that back. I have, I have theory. Stadia may innovate what GeForce Now is currently doing. If they allow all platforms vendors, then it's over. From Ashton, oh, it's already doing that. It's already doing that. Stadia is gonna definitely push GeForce Now. I think that's why they're working on the APK as hard as they are. It's because they want it on every platform. Stadia's advantage is it's going to be compatible with everything. You know, that's what he said. He said anything that has a, a play that has a web browser, a Chrome web browser, we want them to be able to log into Stadia. And when you think about it, that helps. Look at uh, Fortnite. I never really liked Fortnite, but I like the way they did the business. They gave everybody the game for free. You know, you, you could be on anything. You could be on your, your 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 tablet. You could be on a PC. No matter what device you had, you can download Fortnite for free. We'll make our money from getting all these players around the world on our on on on, on in the game for free, and we'll just sell them stuff outside the game. I think Stadia is learning from that. Stadia's learning from stuff like Netflix. They're going to try to make their own content. So Stadia is going to bring out a lot of ideas that change the game. And it's a lot different than GeForce Now. Because what GeForce Now does is it actually has, you know, Steam games. But it doesn't have its own content. So Steam could actually in the, in the future be like, hey, we want to do this. You know, we, we don't want you guys to hold our store. We can do this ourselves and make money. You know, so, so, like 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 uh, 
a lot of these people that's with the content is doing Netflix, Disney. You know, Disney was you know selling their content to these streaming services at first. Now they're like, hey, we don't need you guys. We can provide it to the people ourselves. You know, so that's that's the problem when you're not producing your own content. So I think Google's going to learn from that. Still, what do you think about the Apple computer? I'm shopping for a new laptop. What's the pr your preferences? I use Windows mainly because it's cheaper, you know, and um, I, but I do like the Apple. I like the um, I like the uh, Apple computers better. What they call it, the, the Macs and stuff like that. I like them better. They're actually, they are better. You know, it's hard to get viruses and all that stuff. Well, you can't get no viruses. You can spread the virus to a, uh, a PC that is an Apple, but you really can't. It's just a whole lot better. It's more user friendly and everything like that. So I like it. They cost a pretty penny though, but they have good resale value. I'd rather have, uh, I like my Android phones better because I can get a bunch of free stuff. But, uh, yeah, the computers, the laptops are definitely better than Apple. Plus, Google has larger servers than NVIDIA. I don't like reality TV. A lot of people like reality TV. I don't know. I mean, I'm not knocking people. That do. It's something to watch, but it's not reality. It definitely is not reality. You know, so I would like to see more family shows um, get made. Let me see. I would love to see the happening too. And the crazies. I remember seeing the first ones of those. Godfather Harlem should be good. Let's see. Impal sent us some uh, headphones as well. Uh, I'm still playing with them. I'm still playing with them. Everything's good. You know, Impal makes good stuff. I didn't like the... They ha got some new versions of their headphones. I got to contact them because I think they're defected. Because they're just so low. So these are some, their earphones, the neck bands. This is their newest version. I'm going to get the reviews up. I'll probably start the reviews later this week. I might hold off on the headphones. Because this is the newest headphones they have. But you guys know those other headphones. I think it was the H6 and it was something else. They are killing this. This new version is not on the level as the older one. So I like so far I'm liking all the newer stuff except for these headphones. So I'm wondering if it's just defected because it's real low. So I'm gonna contact them before I do the video on the headphones and I'll just review everything else. Because I didn't like the I didn't like the sound. The new earphones. I actually like these better than the last, uh, the uh, last, uh, uh, what are they called? The earbuds that I did a video for. I can't remember the name of them, but I like these better than those. They look better though, the last one, but it's not all about looks to me. It's about how they perform. Those new ones perform a little bit better. And they're cheaper. For Big Tone, are they still up and running? 
there's a lot of them that's still up and running big tone. The problem is with the uh, with that software, with that base that they lost, it's hard for them to extend somebody or add people unless they have something new. Steven, what do you think about the Fire TV Cube? I like it. Um, it was just the price of it. Now, this new version that's coming out, I might like it a whole lot more. Talk more about the Video Shield TV. What you want to know, Dan? This your show. So you got to ask me what you want to know. It hasn't been too much going on with the Video Shield TV. Besides the Android 10 that's releasing, since Android 10 is releasing this year, I think we'll get that. But there haven't been any signs of no new updates or anything like that. Thought I got that moth out of here. Don't ruin a gem. You may be an Impal fan. Thanks for the advice. I like Impal. You know that they make a lot of devices. I'm going to have to turn these lights off, guys. But these headphones, I don't like. I'm going to hit these lights. I only like reality TV on identity discovery. <laughs> that moth is everywhere, man. Should I wait for the new Fire TV Cube? Saw the old one for 99. I definitely think you should wait for the new Fire TV Cube because it's actually an upgrade. It's actually an upgraded version. It's different from the Shield. Now the Shield's the new version it's the it's a modified Tegra uh, X1. That's all it is. So, in the modification that they have, it might not even benefit us. It probably benefit it'll be, benefit the people with the um, the Nintendo Switch thing. It, it benefit them, but there's no telling if it's gonna actually benefit us. So I'll definitely wait for the newest version for the Fire TV Cube though, because it's actually upgraded specs if you want a fire tv cube question i got a 100 foot ethernet cable from my wild router to my shield does it slow down being that many feet that's a good question the west coast i okay i don't believe so i don't believe so because i have a big ethernet code cord the ethernet cord because i can't see the ethernet cord is actually it's just a way you know to connect so you're pretty much hardwired you're hardwired you're right connected to that device but that's a good question i don't know if it's a sh if it's, it matters by distance but i know i have a very long ethernet cord and i haven't seen a difference i don't think it's been a I haven't seen no difference. I could be wrong. I understand what you're saying, but I haven't personally seen it. Um, I think my Ethernet cord might be 100 foot. Let me see. Let me check on Amazon. see what I had delivered I think mine is at least oh no what I did with that old one. but I have that connected to my PC right now I always have trouble let me go to the mobile Your orders. Because I bought some real long ones. I bought some real long Ethernets. 
when I redid the when I did the office. So I bought some 35 foot ones. I don't notice no difference. Mine says 35 foot feet. My Ethernet cords. I got Cat 6. Um, I got. Let me see. I should have put that. Where's my orders? Here we go. I can find it. I be finding stuff so much easier on the phone sometimes. I got a big, long HDMI too. My HDMI is 30 feet. Um, my Ethernet cords are 35 feet. It's pretty long. I paid seven bucks for it, eight bucks for it. So definitely, let's see. I haven't noticed any type of difference. So purchase it once. So, I don't believe it makes a difference. So, that's $8. I'm going to drop the link for you guys, too. How long is this cable? Six and blah, blah, blah. Stretched out is a lot. So. I definitely get full speeds. I get more than my full speeds, so. I don't think it makes a difference. That was a good question though. Cause usually stuff like that do make a difference. Uh I honestly don't know, but I always get the cat six. I actually I always get the cat six. You can't get a bad Ethernet. Yeah. Lee said he used an adapter between two cat cables and no different in speeds. Yeah, I haven't noticed any difference. That was a good question, though, what he asked. Because usually stuff like that does, you know, if it's too long, um, the power and stuff like that. You mean, you mean green, it's been a minute. You ready for the new shield? I'm ready for it, man. I'm ready for all the new devices. I kind of been on the board side as far as the, the, the devices came because nothing new has been releasing like that. We're getting some new budget devices, but I'm waiting for more of the main companies to do more. What's a good app for making shortcuts on the Mi Box S since TBI repo isn't being updated? You can use Silo Channel. I think it's like a dollar to buy Silo Channel. Channel, but a lot of people like that. I miss TV app repo though. It's different from TV app repo, but Silo Channel will get you through. 
It's a, actually a way to make your own. I've been practicing a little bit. I got to see. I actually made one. Then it was incompatible. So I'm going to get it. Once I get to, to understand it a little bit more, I'll make a video of it. But it takes a lot back, more time. So Silo Channel would probably be the way to go. What's up, LJ? The meat box got better. I seen. I don't know. I'm having. My meat box, my other meat box that I, I I switched the firmware on, it's just completely dead now. That meat box three I had. But I mean it's not bad. It's just a cheap choice. But I'm ready for that new shield. I'm ready for Google to recently release something too. I got a feeling that they're gonna do a box. They we we seen that they're gonna do a dongle for sure. But I got a feeling they're gonna bring out a box as well. They're gonna bring out something, you know. After that, they probably if when they first launch, they're probably just gonna when they first launch Stadia, they're definitely just gonna do that Chromecast Ultra because that's gonna sell them devices. But uh. I look forward to them actually releasing a box. Good night, Daryl. What's up, my dude? Longtime fan from Mississippi. What's up, Cedric? Good night, Daryl. Was live. We've been live for over an hour. I don't even seem like it. So, I got that van. I think that's a van call. I should be getting that soon. I waited for them to agree. I think they agreed to it. I got to read it fully though. So that's the, the Matrix box, the van call. Matrix box X95 max. So the specs are 4 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte ROM. It's a S905 X2. So we should have that probably next week. We'll have that in by hopefully. I'm going to make sure they give us a couple of them so we can do a giveaway before I show the video of it. Do a video. What's up, Giorgio? No problem, Giorgio. New update for the shield. Anything good? No updates. Nothing shield related. Let me see if I missed anything. Let me double check. But I haven't really. Seen too much. But like I said. It's about to become that holiday season. So. That's it. Well, 9 to 5, Google reported, but that was a while ago, that uh, the NVIDIA Shield TV br update broke 4K streaming with some apps like Voodoo. 
and stuff like that. So nothing really, nothing, nothing much of us came out. Are all good. Still using fire sticks. Ready for a reliable upgrade. Recommendation, recommendation please, from Cedric. My recommend. You're so close now. I will wait to this holiday season, cause like come this month, especially in November, December, we're gonna see a lot of price drops. If you want something real, real, you know, cheaper. Have you heard of a program people using? MB, I think MB is like a fork of. I haven't used it personally, Eric, but I believe MB is like a fork of Plex. It's like similar to Plex. It's like a fork of it, I believe. But don't don't take my information all away because I never used it or nothing. But that's what I heard it was when I read about it. All good. Still using fire sticks, but. I got a feeling, I don't want you guys to just take everything I say and run with it. I got a feeling that a Video Shield TV updated device would probably just be as similar to the ones we have. But you guys know during them holiday seasons, we're going to get probably get the best sales. Yeah, everything dropped Black Friday. So that's the reason why, you know. Maybe you might want to wait, you know, till at least them holiday sales start reeling in. Unless, it's, you know, if it's something cheap you're buying, like $50, $60, something like that, or $100 if it's cheaper, you know, go ahead and make that purchase, you know, if you don't feel like waiting. But if it's like a bigger buy right now, with all tech, you're going to get the biggest sales the next couple months. I'm still waiting. I'm hoping um, JBL gets us get us that new Android TV um, soundbar. Empire Five Value. Bird Boats Zero Zero. That's that's the problem, uh, Boy Bird. There's no way to in, uh, boost the volume on them but my volume is good on all of them but that newest headphones that just released um the volume's bad on it i don't know if it's a defected i got something defected but something don't seem right because the older versions are way louder than it would a new shield have a full google play store no it won't have a full google play store um and you really don't want it to. You really don't want it to have a full Google Play Store. The reason being is because you'll have a lot of customers. You'll have a lot of people that use it be confused. You know, because some people don't do what we do. Some people don't sideload anything. Some people um, want use a keyboard. Some people just want to have what's included with that device and shovel up and down and use what they want to use on the play store so if they included the full version of the play store with the android tv os there would be a lot of people with complaints like you know i we can't navigate good and stuff like that so it's gonna get a play store with only uh apps that's updated for android tv but they've been updating a lot of apps for it though Can anybody access the Cody website? Nah, it's down right now. Do you like the B-Link GT King? I never received it, received the big tone. That's the one with the S922. Those are the two on my list. I'm going to get the, those. Those are the only two I haven't tested. That's budget boxes. 
the S9 or 5, uh, I think it was the X2. And the other one, S922. So those are the two on my list. I'm going to get them tested as soon as possible. It's an S now 5. Yeah, S now 5 X2 and S922 I have to test. The thing about the X905 X2, I really wasn't too thrilled about that because it's just another version of S905X. We have seen about 50 different versions of the S905X uh, chip. The reason being is because uh, S905X is pretty much their standard as far as like this is good enough. So we can keep on modifying this chip that's good enough and save money for it from it. And that's that's the only thing with that. That's why, like the newer devices, that's that don't excite me. It's stuff that I haven't really tried that excite me. Now the S nine twenty two, I want to test because it's an actual new chip. Most of the apps I got on Google don't run on the Shield, but West Coast, you know, you can get the Silo Launcher and still see them. Or the silo channels to still see them. The thing is, if you get an app that's not in the Google Play Store for the NVIDIA Shield TV, you're going to need some type of mini keyboard or keyboard to navigate. What's up, Steven? And all of those in the chat. Can you tell me what happened to Diggs and I can't load? Blah, blah, blah. On my 18. I'm going to have to check it out, Stepping. I'm using it right now. It's probably, usually when it's missing, he's updating it. It's 9.36. So this is last call, last call. Any last questions, guys? Or we'll watch some TV for a minute, relax. I need to take off for my new channel, man. Can retro games be played on the Mi Box S? Oh, most definitely, Chris. They can be played. But here's the problem. You want to make sure. Um, well, that's not a problem. That should just be what it is. You know, they can, they can definitely be played on the Mi Box S. On Mi Box S, you'll probably play good from um, the PS1 emulators on down. Thanks for the dollar super chat, United93. Hey, Steven, have you heard anything about Beast? Is it going to be good? Um, Beast was using X as well, the X code thing, um, like most of them. Um, but I, I just feel they're all going to switch. That's what they're going to do. They're all just going to switch the software that they were using. What's up, Fire Stick? That stuff. What's up, Trooper Scooper? How was your vacation? NFL team. My favorite NFL team is the Chicago Bears. <laughs> They're my favorite uh, football team. I like just watching sports, though. You know, people be making fun of me sometimes because I won't choose between the Cubs and the White Sox. And I'll be like, if they both are, you know, they both have a good season that year I root for both of them you know if one of them to the play off I'll root for them Trooper Scooper but my favorite NFL teams the Bears I've been ooh, I had a, a rough day last night I was watching them on TV I think they played um, I forgot who they played but the team they played was terrible. And we was up 28 nothing. Well, 28 to 3. Then after the first half, the team started coming back. Um, and you know, I, 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 that's my team. I really don't think we're going anywhere. We'll, we'll make a 
we'll, we'll have a good season, but we'll lose first round of the playoffs. Mitch is just not that guy. Mitch is not the guy. I wish he was, but that's the truth. Mitch is not the guy. You know, he had three touchdowns in the first half. He had a good game. But I was more looking at those throws that he could have made, that he couldn't make those throws. Uh, Nagy made it real easy for those touchdowns that he made. Nagy's a great coach. So he designed the scheme where any quarterback could have had three touchdowns that first half, especially with the defense playing so well. I was just paying attention to the throws and stuff, and he, he he's just not accurate. He's, he, he, he just... He's not that guy. They should have stayed put and drafted Watson. NFL is rigged. South Sider. What's up, Sharice? Redskins. Cool. Mine's just the Saints. Saints looking good. Who y'all quarterback now? Bridgewater, I believe. Saints looking good. I think they won. They won their last game. I don't see anybody beating the Patriots. Patriots are looking too good. It's going to be between the Patriots and the Chiefs. Dallas looks good, too. Dallas looks okay, too. You know. But uh, the Bears will be good. But it's just this quarterback problem is not. We're not good at drafting quarterbacks. And I don't see the reason why we lean. I mean, I guess that's teams, just all teams. But, you know, I would have drafted somebody else. You know, drafted somebody else and made the best man win. What's up, Dave? Nolan's in the house. Hey, Arthur. He just, Mitch Mitch don't got it in him. He's not confident. And um, a blind man can see that. He had a good game. Um, against Washington, but it, it was pretty much handed to him. The good game was handed to him. any quarterback would have had a good game like that. He actually should have had an even better game than that. The Bears should have put up about 50 points yesterday. 40, 50 points, easy. There was a 40, 50 point drop. Especially with your defense playing like that. I don't know about that, Eugene. Crypto is freezing up. It could be because of that X code gone. So they're all going to get back. Once they all switch their software, they'll all be better. He's young too, Giorgio. Spell I hop and then say Ness. What about my bills from Gerald? I haven't really been following the bills. Let me see. I'll let you know right now. Wow, the Bills three and zero. Quarterback decent, good running game. You play decent defense. The Bills. I didn't know they was three and zero though. You know why I did know they was three and zero? Cause it surprised me when I found out they was three and zero before. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Bills, I don't know. When I think of that 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 AFC, I'm thinking Kansas City. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking um, uh, Kansas City. I'm thinking New England. New England's just it was just a a blessing in disguise. They had to get rid of AB. 
It was too much uh, firepower. Do you know who Joe is? What type of Joe? The Bills got New England next week. It'll be their first loss, I'm assuming. Yeah, they're going to lose against New England. Well, we don't know now. They no, New England's going to lose some games. It's still a, it's still a game, so anybody can win. But New England's real good. That's why I was kind of happy that Antonio Brown was gone. Let me delete him. Oh, Trooper already got him. Oh. He's some trolls. <laughs> Y'all crazy. New England isn't playing anyone. So, it was good. They, they lost Antonio Brown. So I'm gonna go. I'm get ready to go, guys. I want to watch that. Uh, well, New England. That's one of their blessings every year. That's one of New England's blessings every year. The Patriots, even when doing their ups and downs, they may have injuries and stuff. One of their bl blessings in disguise is New England plays in one of the weakest divisions in football. You know, let's let's tell the truth. But we can't take nothing away from them because they get the job done in playoffs. But that's definitely been a blessing as well. Th their conference is weak. Their conference is weak almost every year. So. Boy Bert, zero, zero. That's, that's true, Bert, Bert, Boy Bert. Does the Patriots get hate, though? You got to get hate. Anybody who wins all the time is going to get hate. But, I mean, they just, you know, I, 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 I'm not a hater. They, they do a great job. They do a great job. They got a good program. Um, they draft good. You know, it's a lot of they people that, they just don't play football. Here we go. Let me delete you, guy. High user. Boom. I got to go watch my practical son, guys. They're the team of the decade. Oh, by far. By far. Because even though they're in a weak division, we can't say nothing to playoffs. Ain't no way I would have thought the Patriots would have won the Super Bowl last year. I, I, definitely. Donalds. But uh, I got to get that video up, too. I want to get that video up about the uh, comic book guy. Joe. Joe was talking about uh, Sony. Sony is actually trying to push it. You know, Sony knows that they need Disney. Sony is trying to definitely negotiate. So the, now they offer Disney 30%. I'm going to read some more about that. And uh, we're going to talk about that a lot, too, because I want to bring the one guy. Um, I want to be bring Joe on it because he know, he know he reads all the comics and stuff. I told you, he's a big comic fan. So he can talk about the Disney and Sony situation. But they reached out to Disney with the 30%. I, I, I think they would would have did the 50%. But the thing is, now it's got too loud. They kind of pride don't want them to go there. So I think in the end of the day, they're going to end up working with each other. Because uh, Sony know they need Disney. They need Disney. They need them because they got everybody. Disney got X-Men. Disney got Fantastic Four. We're going to see some new movies coming out from them too. Uh, probably 2021 to 22, which will be great. They need to do another uh, uh, Fantastic Four. We're going to see a real Dr. Doom soon. We're going to see a real uh, Galactus soon. So I'm definitely going to bring him on so he can talk about it. He's a big fan for you guys who like the Marvel movies. 
But I'm going to get ready to talk to you guys. Um, probably going to talk to you guys again later this week. Probably by Wednesday. I'm going to talk to you. I mean, not Wednesday. By Thursday. I'm going to talk to you guys again. What team do you root for? I root for the Bears, but I'm, I'm a realist. I'm a realist when it comes to uh, sports. Life period. Like, even though I, I root for the Bears, I can be honest with myself and let you guys know um, if they're going to win or not when they play that game. Thank you, Stephen, for your show. It's awesome. Great information. See you next week. Good night, everybody. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to go, too, guys. Um... I'm going to talk to you guys later. Shout out to all of you guys for coming out and joining. Shout out to the sponsors. What's up, 7-Even? Trooper came late. See you in a week, Steven. I'm going to try to come Thursday. I'm trying to come on Thursday. Thursday. If not Thursday, I'm going to come on at least by this weekend for you guys. I'm going to get in there. So shout out to all you guys who came to join the sponsors. Shout out to all the mods, Trooper, The Real, uh, everybody. Actually, I, I forgot to show. The Real has sent me a, a a cup before. She sent it a while ago. I forgot to show you guys. My mom has stole it. Stole it. I finally went to her house and I stole it back. But it was a nice little cup that the real had made for me. It's old though, so that's why it's coming off. Kind of black and green. Thank you, the real. I never got the chance to show you guys because my mother, my mother is still something, man. You know she'll take it. She'll take it. But I'm going to see you guys later. Uh, shout out to all you guys. Uh, I miss Trooper. We got to figure out how to get Trooper on here. Trooper and the real zombie. We got to get some more people up in here. So I'm going to investigate that. But I'm going to talk to you guys later. Tune in next time so I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching.